It all began with a compromise. I watched a movie I shouldn't have, and I found myself feeling filthy and deeply shaken by the horrible things I saw. I repented and opened the Bible, and as I read Scripture, God washed me with the water of His Word. The Word of God closed the door to evil thoughts and emotions I had opened and restored peace to my heart. What God showed me will work for you, too. I love stories. I wrote fiction stories, which were published in a daily column in the Tsingtao Daily in Hong Kong for two years. I've also written a short fiction book. So I love well-written movies. The writing in some movies truly is amazing. And I heard a lot about a particular movie. Its plot was intricate. The dialogue was amazing. I wanted to watch it to learn because that's how you get better at writing. You read or watch great stories. One problem, it was R-rated. And I don't watch R-rated movies. After years of living in China where I didn't have access to American TV, this was in the 1980s and 90s, my spirit is still sensitive to violence profanity, etc. But I really wanted to watch this story. If I compromise and endure the profanity and look away during the sex scenes I reasoned, I can watch this film. I mean, how bad could it be? Nothing could have prepared me for the savage brutality of this movie. Every other sentence was obscene. The characters were depraved, totally without virtue, and they were brutally, graphically violent. I felt these things like hammer blows to my spirit, Reeling in shock and disgust, I smacked the TV off. I felt like I needed a bath. I felt filthy. My spirit was shocked by the violence, the immorality, and profanity. Visibly shaken, I asked God to forgive me and protect me from this assault on my spirit and my soul. And I opened my Bible, and as I read, I literally felt the word of God washing over me, cleansing me. It was like layer after layer of filth had to be removed as I read through Scripture. I was actually jittery. I had lost the peace that protects my heart. Eventually, as I read the words that can save our souls and quietly prayed, peace returned. I was shocked that I could do so much damage to my soul in a few minutes, just sitting in a chair, watching something. What happened? Psalm 101, verse 3 in the New King James Version says, I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. Wow. It shall not cling to me. The evil we watch or listen to clings to us. Psalm 101.3 in the Passion Translation says, I refuse to gaze upon that which is vulgar. I despise works of evil and anything that moves my heart away from you. I will not let evil hold me in its grip. Every sin begins with a thought, and I need to root out the thought that caused this sin. Repenting of the sin is good and necessary, but I need to get to the root of the sin. If I don't, the sin will pop up again in a different place. Henry David Thoreau, in his book Walden, wrote, There are a thousand hacking at the branches of evil to one who is striking at the root. The ungodly thought that began the whole process is the root of the sin. My sin began with the thought, I can watch what most people watch on TV. I know most people watch our rated movies. A lot of my Christian friends do. I couldn't. The evil in the movie got a hold of me. It was clinging to me. I had compromised with culture and was paying the price. The truth is I had compromised with evil. It felt horrible. How did I break free? I renewed my mind with God's word, as the Bible in Romans 12 2 tells me. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. As I read the Bible, God cleaned me up. In Ephesians 5, verses 25 to 26, it says, Christ also loved the church and gave himself to her that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word. John 15, 3 in the NIV, Jesus was talking to his disciples. And he said, you're already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. And then Jesus prayed to God about his disciples before he left the earth. And he said to Father, sanctify them, meaning the disciples, by the truth. Your word is truth. That's in John 17, 17. The word of God cleans us up. It renews our minds to God's thoughts and ways. It sanctifies us. To sanctify means to make holy. It also means to set apart for God's purposes. Activation. To make God's word active in your life, you have to do something with it. You have to apply it. 
I was assaulted by a movie I watched that I knew was ungodly. I compromised. The thought that launched me into sin was, I can watch this if, and then I gave conditions. The result? Watching that movie opened the door in my heart to let evil in. I felt the evil of what I had just seen. Even after I turned the movie off, evil got a hold of me. It got a grip on me. It made me feel unclean. And if I would continue to watch movies like that, over time I would become desensitized to them. I would think they were having no effect on me, but that is part of the deception. We cannot engage in evil, even if it's just watching or listening, without evil clinging to us. So, the activation is first, make a firm decision to not allow evil in your life. Music, TV, films, and social media powerfully affect our spirits and souls for good or for evil. Evil clings to us. Evil holds us in its grip. Romans 12, 9 in the NIV commands us, hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Philippians 4, 8 tells us to keep our thoughts on good things. Declare Psalm 101, 3 over yourself right now. I refuse to gaze on that which is vulgar. I despise works of evil people, and I despise anything that moves my heart away from you, God. I will not let evil hold me in its grip. Second step wash in God's word to be made clean. If you do slip, renew your mind and be made holy by washing in the water of the word of God. Read God's encouragement, wisdom, and promises for you in his word. It's hard to live as light in a culture that is growing darker and darker, and that's where we're at today. I hope this helps you as it has helped me. If you enjoyed this podcast, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for listening. And thank you for doing the activation, which will enable God to transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. That's Romans 12.2 in the New Living Translation. Until next time, God bless.